Ik ben heel blij een goede vriend te mogen aankondigen. Jullie kennen hem misschien als Kevin Masters. Ik ken hem gewoon als Tom Rose. Alright, goedenavond, dames en heren. Alright. I, uh, I used to live in Holland for a few years. I don't speak very much Dutch. My favorite thing to say in Dutch is, Roken is doodaloogie. I don't know what a doodaloogie is, but I want to quit before I get a doodaloogie. I'm trying to quit smoking cigarettes. It's very difficult. Uh, I have to admit, I love cigarette smokers. I don't know any cigarette smokers who are prejudiced. Because all cigarette smokers know, we're all black on the inside. <laughs> My other favorite thing to say in Dutch is to say I'm very sorry is sorry whore. <laughs> I love when I'm in a market and somebody be rude to me, I'll just go, hey, sorry whore. <laughs> Many years ago, I moved to Holland for a Dutch girl. I fell in love is why I came to your little country. And uh, it didn't work out. And last year, when I was in Holland, I had lunch with my ex-girlfriend. Do not stay friends with your exes. It's too painful, man. I had lunch with my ex-girlfriend, and she was seven months pregnant and married to some dude. She's like, I'm having a baby. I'm like, I got an iPod. <laughs> Sometimes I'll take my iPod to the park, and I'll swing it on the swings. I'll slide it down the slide. How many songs does your baby know? <laughs> My iPod holds 8,000 songs. Can your baby shuffle? <laughs> the iPod is the greatest invention since the blowjob. The iPod, the blowjob, and bitter ballin. <laughs> Those are the three greatest inventions in the history of man. And if you can get all three of them together, then you would truly understand. Zeal <laughs> I've been happy to my soul since uh, January, since Barack Obama became president. I love Obama, man. He's magic. That guy flies around on a magic unicorn in my book. I love him. I'm so happy to have a black president. Now we can blame black people for all the problems. I'm so happy that the burden of whiteness has been lifted from my shoulder. Obama's already getting negative news media. He's only been president three months. I think America's afraid. We're afraid once we go black, we'll never go back. <laughs> white people never say cool stuff like that. You never hear, once you go white, you may also enjoy a Sprite. <laughs> I did a radio interview in the United States a few months ago, and they introduced me as the bad boy of comedy. I never said I was the bad boy of anything, nor do I want to be introduced as such. Only in comedy do you ever hear that. You never hear that in other professions. You never hear, he's the bad boy of gynecology. <laughs> See the dude putting on his gloves with the fingers cut off? <laughs> that would be speculum tacular. <laughs> I read that if you are ever attacked by a pit bull, that you should stick your finger in its asshole. <laughs> My question is, what if that's the reason the dog is biting you in the first place? <laughs> I miss the Olympics. I miss the Olympics for this one move. Why are gymnasts the only ones allowed to do that pimp ass move, man? We need to steal that shit and incorporate it into our everyday lives. Whatever your job is, when you finish the task, you should plant and nail it. If you're a mailman, you put the letter in the hole. It feels good, people. Last month, before I came to Holland, I went to Buenos Aires, Argentina for a few weeks. My mother is from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I've got family there. I have a cousin, Fernando, in Argentina. He's the sexiest Argentinian guy you'd ever want to see in your life. Hey, Fernando, do you have any matches? No, but isn't my body beautiful? <laughs> I've been performing in Australia the last few years. I love to go to Australia because when I was a little boy, I had a koala teddy bear. I could not sleep without my koala teddy bear. I'd cry and I'd cry. So the last time I was in Australia, I went to the nature preserve to see the koalas. And the zoologist told me the koalas are promiscuous beings. They have many different sexual partners and they fuck around so much they even get syphilis. I had no idea I was sleeping with such a dirty little slut. Do you guys know in uh, the United States, the worst thing a black person can call a white person is a cracker. 
I don't think it's that bad, and it's certainly not as bad as the N-word, but for whatever reason, black people think that's the ultimate insult to call a white person, a cracker. In Australia, a cracker is a really good joke. Ha ha, that was a cracker. <laughs> so every year in Sydney, Australia, they have a comedy festival, and it's called the Cracker Festival. Last year, I was in Sydney, Australia, and I did the Cracker Festival. About three months later, I was in Shreveport, Louisiana, walking around with my Cracker Festival t-shirt on. <laughs> Should have saw the looks people gave me, man. Crackers have their own festival. <laughs> I said, yeah, it's called the Republican National Convention. <laughs> Last week, I did a show in Antwerp and Hand Throw City. Antwerpen means hand throw. You ever been to Antwerp? In the main square in the center of town is a statue of a little boy throwing a giant's hand. And that's where the city gets its name from. Because of the giant, because at one time that has never been recorded in European history, there was a giant that was menacing Belgium and ships couldn't get into port and commerce was ruined. But there was a brave little boy and he cut off the giant's hand and he threw it. And that's where the city gets its name from. What a stupid story. Because it's a giant, it's a little boy. You think the giant would have went, ow, 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 pow. The name of that town should be Giant Punches Little Boy in the Head. So if you go to Antwerp, the symbol of Antwerp is a little boy throwing a giant's hand. And if you go to Brussels, the symbol of Brussels is a little boy peeing. All I'm saying is maybe Belgium wouldn't have such a problem with pedophilia if they didn't have all this little boy worship. You ever think maybe that's the reason why the Belgians make the best chocolate? Because little kids are smart. They won't get into the van for any shitty old chocolate. It's got to be the very best. Thank you very much, everybody. Very nice to hear you again. Some of those people. Ik ben heel blij een goede vriend te mogen aankondigen. Jullie kennen hem misschien als 